Hi, everybody, and welcome to Fortunate Creations. This is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amogurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're going to like it here. Who wants to play with some paint? Right? We know I love to. Love it. So what I want to do today is I want to make some postcards. So grab some paint, grab some, I've got four by six photo paper here that I got from a thrift store and uh, grab a couple pens and a ruler. And I'll meet you back here in just a second. I'll meet you over here. I'm gonna set up the camera. Okay, here we go. I have all of the stuff laid out. Now, we all know that I am extremely messy when it comes to paint. So I did put down a cardboard base or a mat underneath it just in case because I'm trying to protect the rest of my desk from my painting abilities <laughs> or the lack thereof. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make the postcard actually look like a postcard on the back. So put the glossy side down. And now we're going to take and do it as even as possible. Okay. You can use a ruler, you can use whatever you like. If you're going to do a lot of them, make a template where you just set this down on there and off you go. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Sharpie. And I'm going to go ahead and make this line right here. There. And then down here. What is that for? Well, the post office likes when you write postcard on the postcard. <laughs> okay. And then you write who it's to over here. Now you can make this side as fancy as you want. You can make this thinner so you have more room to write. You, you know, make that thicker. However you want to do it, that is just the back side where you're going to put your stamp and you're going to write your message. Okay. Here's the fun part. Now, in my head, I have a beach theme. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one little dab or two little dabs of paint of colors that I might find at the beach. So there's the water, here's the sun, right? Okay, somebody might have on an orange bathing suit. Now this is a lot and you'll see why, okay? And then what else? Oh yeah, we've got some sand, right? There's dirt for the sand. So let's just do... We'll do one little dot of that over here and one over there. How's that? And then let's see what else. Oh, how about some deep violet? That could be a pretty sunset or it could be somebody's beach towel, however you want to do it. And then let's see. thought I grabbed the white. Oh, there it is. And then here, what do you think? Gold. It looks like a sand color to me. So I'm going to go ahead, put a couple of dots. Again, I'm just thinking beach, 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 beach. So I always, always throw in a little bit of white just because it helps blend the colors. Sorry for sticking it right in the camera like that, but. So I like, especially when you have dark colors on there, okay? I like to throw the white in there because it does tend to lighten things up. Now, what I'm going to do, I haven't written postcard on the back of this one yet, but that's all right. I just want to show you the process. So here's all of the different colors. Simply going to do this. Press it down. Now you can tap it. It's going to leak out. That's why I have this pad down. You can rub it a little bit. You can slide your finger, however you want to do it. 
because no two cards are going to be the same. Okay. Once you think you've done everything you wanted to do to it, pull it off. Okay, and set it aside. Now, the reason I put so much paint on there is because you can make several. I like to make like a set of six or 12, depending on how long the paint stays wet enough. Now watch this one. I'm going to do that and I'm just going to twist it a little bit. And then we have another set of colors. See that? How fun is that? It looks to me like beach balls. Everybody's playing beach balls or maybe balloons at the beach. And as you see these lines coming up, it even gets to be a little bit more fun. You're going to see that some of your postcards will have a lot of thick paint on it. And some of them will end up just with those marks on it. just those marks. That was my dog knocking something over. I'm sure we're going to ignore that for now. All right, what's next? Let's do this one over here because it's still got. Now you got to keep an eye on how wet your paint still is because if your paint dries to a point where it gets tacky, it's going to start to rip the picture paper. So you've got to be really careful not to wait too long. Watch this. We're going to get a little tricky. <laughs> All you want to do is keep the same colors in this set, okay? That way, there we go, you will have, if you want to give somebody a nice set of postcards for their birthday or something to that effect, you absolutely can, and they would all be in the same color family. And remember, as the paint gets a little more dry, you're going to get less globs and more lines. So look at that one. See the difference in those, okay? And then I notice this one here, we've got a lot of paint left on here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab me another piece of picture paper and I'm going to squish it together. And this one I'm just going to all sorts of, let me move this one out of the way. I think I've used that one to its fullest. Okay, I'm going to do this. Okay. So, I love that purple. Now, here's another good trick. See how it's light on this side right here? So, this is why I always end up with so much paint on me. I just kind of tap and lift, tap and lift. And you can see each one of them is being altered just a little bit because you're adding in different paint from different areas onto these cards. Watch this. Let's put yellow there. Boom. Haha. <laughs> it's almost like working with stamps, only messier, I would assume. I don't know. I haven't worked with stamps yet. There we go. So that is our first set. And again, I was thinking beach. So for the next one, let's grab some colors that say spring flowers. Let's do that. All right. So I'll be right back. Let me get this cleaned up and set up for the spring flowers. So what you're going to do with these is take some clothespins and hang them up wherever you can. I mean, I have a few wire racks here, so I'm going to hang them from the wire racks, hang them from wherever you have a chance or space to hang them, and give them at least, I'd say, a couple hours, or even if you just lay them out on the counter, if you have enough room on your counter. But you want to make sure you give them a couple hours, make sure everything dries before you stack them up. Now, we're going to go over how to stack them up, but just make sure you have some um, parchment paper handy, okay? All right, I'll be back for the next set. Okay, so I'm thinking pansies. So I want purple and yellow with a little bit of orange. Okay, so let's do this just like this. Little bit of yellow. Okay. 
Obviously, if you're just going to do one or two of these, you need very little paint. So you can use your judgment on that. But make no mistake, this is a fun project, but you will get messy. Well, if you're anything like me, you will get messy. Okay. A little bit of dabs all over the place. Diddle, diddle, do, do, do. Okay. Now for the purple, purple, purple. It's called Deep Violet. I like it. Okay, ready? We're going to do a little dab here. Ooh, a big dab there, apparently. <laughs> Couple dabs over here. I'm doing a lot of purple because, uh, to me, violets, well, they're pansies and violets are very purple. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Now. Here we go. Here we go. The anticipation. <laughs> All right, shiny side down. And I'm going to rub that all around so they mush all over. All right, and again, I get paint everywhere, but that's okay because I still use that for the back of the card. And <laughs> at least there's some color on the back as well. All right, let's check this out. Oh my goodness. Come on already. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Let's lay another one down here like that. Another one down here like this. Okay, I'm going to slide this one. Ready? Slide with me. Everybody just slide it with me. Just slide it. Now it won't slide. Let me do this then. Ooh, that's so cool. Look at that. I'm going to leave that one right like it is. I really like that one. We'll do a different one off of this one. I really like that one. That's so pretty. All right. Shall I try to slide this one? No, I'm guessing the paint's a little too stiff. Oh, you know why? Because I didn't put that much on there. Right? I'm used to the bigger gobs of it. Now, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to pat and lift. Pat it and lift pat it and lift switch it over pat it and lift pat it and lift oh i love it love it now i got to be careful cuz i'm actually getting lines from this cutting into it but you know what that's not bad really not bad so we're gonna try one more just to see what happens see if I can get rid of that line if not we're gonna leave it just as it is lesson learned here we go all right you ready 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 okay see now it's getting oh I really love that those are my favorites so you see, all in the same package, you can have one that's super full of color. These two are very similar. But they do alter a little bit depending on how many different times you stick another postcard on it, right? Hmm. <laughs> Very little on that one. You could even find a sticker or something, maybe a sticker of the flowers or a sticker of something that goes with your theme. Love it. Love it. Love it. I really do. So there's that set. Loving it. Okay, I'm going to let these dry. And then um, we'll go over them and we'll take a look at them and see how cool they are. Okay, so honestly, you would have thought I was paint finger painting. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it's fine because it's all washable. So while the other ones are hung up to dry and they're literally hung up everywhere, um, 
I find anything I can do and clip them to it. I made some others. So these to me are legit pansies in a garden. Okay. Look at this one. Forget about it. So um, I made that set. And then I was thinking, I have my class reunion coming up. So my colors were blue and white. So I made some blue and white. And I'm going to use these as little thank you cards, good to see you cards to send out after the reunion. I'm going to need a bunch more, I think. But I think that'll be a cool idea. I'll get everybody's address and just shoot them a little postcard. And you can write the postcard stuff on the back when, once it's dry. I just got excited and didn't want to wait to write it. So I have paint everywhere and I'm not done. Oh, just found some on my pants. Better keep the dog away. I'll get some on the dog too. So I'm going to make a bunch more of these while everything else dries. Um, I think I'm going to let them dry overnight. And then I will show you tomorrow how to store them. Okay. I, pretty much it's as simple as make sure they're dry. Cut some um, parchment paper to fit in between them and stand them up. I wouldn't lay them down. I stand them up. So find something to stand them up in. And uh, that's that. So I'm going to get back to making some more. And I will see you tomorrow and close this up. Look at it. So I realized I could show you how to finish it up by using the batch that I did the other day. And yes, I'm still covered in paint. So here's what a finished one looks like from the other day. I said to my friend, I said, give me three colors and don't ask me why. She said pink, gray, and black. So I made these postcards and I sent her one. She hasn't called me yet, so I don't think she's gotten it yet. But you can see here, I have them in a stack and I have parchment paper between each one. So that's a good way to stop them from sticking together. Just keep the parchment paper between them and you're ready to go. When you need a thank you card or a postcard, I didn't write postcard on all of them because some of them I will just stick inside of packages or other cards or whatever, just as a little thank you. Nice to see you, you know, something like that. So there you go. Great reason to play with paint. And this, you know, it might be messy, but if you put the kids in a smock or cover them in an old shirt or something and let them go, let them have some fun. This would be a great project for the kiddos and the grandparents. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you had fun with this. Let me know if you make any. Please put a picture of them on the Facebook page. Um, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. All right. So remember, always be creative. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.